Hi there guys, I just wanted to uh, show you real quick um, how to make a slideshow inside of Clipmaker. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a black canvas, not to worry about this. We're going to add a simple shape, a rectangle. And one cool thing that you can do with this rectangle is that you can give it a texture. And that texture could be an image. So in appearance, I'm going to change from single color to custom. And that way I can go ahead and select a different texture. And for texture, I have a bunch of images here that I downloaded in my, inside my clip maker folder. So I'm just going to select this uh, Wakamaya. I don't even know what the name of uh, pirate. Is that a pirate? No, Wakamaya. Um, so yeah, you have it here. And as you can see, is there but very very small we're gonna change all that we're gonna tell the rectangle to have a size maybe of 300 by 160 and then we have a huge wakamaya right here in our viewer and now you can get a pretty good idea of how you can do a slideshow obviously there's other programs that would make your life easier but now you get a, a pretty good idea and basically what I want to do here is uh, maybe just go to the camera and zoom out a bit because we're too tight in there like there we can get the whole thing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to back to my object and I'm going to use the function duplicate to duplicate this one here I'm going to go back into 3D space and I'm going to move this one to the side. Let me just find out exactly here. And the good thing is that now for this shape, I can change the uh, texture. So I can give it now a fox, for example, texture. And just make sure it's there on the edge. So obviously you can go back to your camera and animate the camera you know just tell it uh this is the position that it's that it's in right now let's see what happens if i put zero oh yeah it goes through it so let's do it at 135 that's pretty good and you can do the uh y axis to reveal the fox and animate that like we did and that would be a nice slideshow but um, you can also animate the images going in so let's do that instead let's go back to zero here and zero here and then just animate the the fox going in and basically I would just go to the object pick the fox go back to, to 3d space the fox and in position I would Go ahead and move in time like around here and like around here and I'm going to give it a, a keyframe and then around here I'm going to move here so I'm going to give it another position keyframe and this time I'm just going to move it here but maybe a little bit forward so it's on top of this one and yeah that's what's going to do so when we get it we have the wakamaya first and then the fox and that's how you build a slideshow but, but what's really cool about doing it in clip maker is that you can add crazy stuff like a uh, light and then let's go back in 3d space and just click on the light and we can just kind of like kind of like point it to the towards the photo and then we can also add particles you know something cool particles there we hit the particles and we hit the dice until we find something that kind of works that's too much yeah like something like this so when we see it we might have to move it a tiny bit in space towards yeah that kind of works Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can also, for example, during this transition here, let's go back to the shape, this one, and we know the transition is here, so we can do 
right here we can add an effect and add a bloom effect for example and then this one here we can make it re go really high there and we can add a strength keyframe there and then here we can just go ahead and add another key keyframe and put in zero and then here add another keyframe put in zero and now we have that cool transition and that's something that you cannot do like in a like in another software obviously it's, it would take a lot of t a long longer time to create it in clip maker but you can make something really 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 cool and i hope uh this was useful i hope you learned something new if you like it please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed please do so now thank you so much for watching Thank you for watching. Check out this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.